Hello my friends, welcome back to the Mobius mod. We're gonna head to Kasternar, piercing the shroud, which is the final mission before Char. But first, I feel like we should get a couple upgrades. Now, none of these matter for this mission. However, I think that we want kinetic foam, because it's good. I'm not entirely sure that we want... So, I'm thinking about that uh, reinforcement point halfway through the mission. And it might be that Marauders are, or Hammerfist Guards are a very good choice here. I don't think that the Cerberus is going to be it. <laughs> I, I just don't. But Hammerfist, super potentially legit. Legionnaire and Field Engineer Zeta seem like they're going to be pretty good. We generally get Jim on that mission, so I assume we're going to have him anyway. And let's give it a go. This is going to be our last opportunity to get money before Char. I'm hoping we can get basically the rest of the interesting upgrades and only leave stuff like missile turret upgrades, which are good, but they're not fancy. Yeah, we just, they're not fancy. Let's give this a go. Sir, parts of the facility. So what do we have? We have two field engineers. We have four legionnaires, a gym rainer. We got a male. We cannot build auto turrets. We don't have any money, unfortunately. All right. Hey, cowboy. The stuff here seems pretty high-tech. If you find any interesting weaponry down there, I should be able to scrap it for a few credits. So try not to use it all if you can. Rory Swan, Chief Engineer. Hmm. Break it down. So I should just not uh, so use weapons. The, the sidearm weapons. 2,500 credits for grenades, 5,000 for plasma, and 7,500 for time warp. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money we could potentially get there. So many different toys. Okay, we'll give this a go. Be very careful then. Uh, I guess we don't have to be careful in here. Because it's just the first room. It's not like there's a weapon we're supposed to be using anyway. Take these guys down. These aren't dying quick. Oh, that's two armor. So, do they have just plus two armor or are they chilling it? Ow! There's, okay, I know there's a perdition over here. Apparently there's a ghost over here. Ah, oh, he's got friends too. I guess we're just burning his snipe energy now. Let's try coming around the right-hand side. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ow, stop. Okay, this is a tough start. He's out of snipes. He's out of snipes. We got him. <laughs> we brute forced our way through this first part without any losses. So we take that guy down, then we can move over to these. And Mr. Sniper, taken out. And then we'll heal up Jim. Jim only has 25 shields, but he does have a lot of HP, two base armor. There we go. And let's open up the door. So in this first event, there is an additional Hammerfist Guard over here. I think this is more Marines than normal. I still want to put the guns on the right-hand side in order to take these Marines down first, ideally. Because you almost always want to target down low HP things before high HP things. It just mathematically ends up better most of the time. So, right side guns, back. Go, go, go. Take out what we can. It's actually like an HP to DPS ratio that you gotta... Do, but low HP stuff is generally pretty high on that HP to DPS ratio, and high HP stuff tends to be lower. So, don't shoot the tank, basically, if you can avoid it. I know that's a very... When I phrase it that way, it's very obvious. Let's pop in here. Oh, I like the fact that there's a guy in here, which means that you can't just easily run and stick the bomb on this little containment cage before the event. That's cool. I don't know if that was something that was added by Nadral or if it was something added by Rhyme and Nightmare Edition, but either way, I think that's a really good decision. It stops you from being able to invalidate the little events there. It's not the biggest event in the world by any means, but it's nice that it's done that way. Sorry, <laughs> scientist. So here's our first equipment-based weapon. It is the grenade. Now... Thinking about the grenade, it is very good, and it's also very cheap. In fact, I would say it's the best of the weapons, and it is the cheapest of the weapons in terms of how much money we get back. So if I have to use something, it'll be that. That's a lot of guys. Very careful, Jim. 
We want him to take most of the damage, but not, you know, die. <laughs> What's the plan? So how do we want to approach this area without any of the explosives? Probably What's up? Talk to me. by... These guys have concussive, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to poke that guy and pull back, see what comes down here. I have no idea exactly what it's going to be. Just a couple infantry. Oh, they have 3-3 three, three now. Ooh. So they are well upgraded. Let's see if we can get this medic. Oh, good. That's only part of the guys. And if we come up, we can take this one out. And when the Marauders are attacking our light HP, or our light armored guys, they really don't do anything. Completely healable by a single medic, so if we take the Marines down first, it's all easy. Alright, we're healed up, and let's head on to the computer. So what do we got? These are hammer securities. We have to keep in mind that the enemy is 3-3 this time, so they're going to be better than normal. Usually 20 zealots is about the most even, but I'm kind of feeling 5 ultralisks because of the strength of the enemy. Yeah, let's give that a go. I think that this is a better choice. And we're probably going to have to put a couple pieces of covering fire in order to help these guys out a little bit. But I think they're going to do pretty well. These Ultras are only 2-2. Two, two. And a 2-2 two, two is pretty good. Uh, let's pull back. Put Jim in the front. In case we got to deal with... Oh! They won! Nice! That was very close. I think we made real good decisions right there. And then we can open it up. I guess we don't need to use... Ow! No! 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 Do not shoot my waifu! Seriously? No, 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 no. I'll pull this guy back. Oh, that was real suspect right there. I almost lost everybody. Let's grab this. I did not spe expect a ghost legion to be in there. <laughs> so we're going to open this up, and that's going to give us our first plasma gun. Four rounds. Goodbye, Carl. Sell me. Break it down. And then this area I'm a little bit concerned about without any of the explosives. The Additionally, the Brutalisk is something What's I'm up? concerned about. There's two things. There, well, three things. First, the Garage proper, which can be kind of scary. Then the Thor that's after it. And then the Brutalisk. So if I had to make a What's educated up? assumption on how I want to use the Ares Warbot... Oh, it's not like this. Oh yeah, pull back, pull back, pull back, free damage. Break it down. Raiders roll. Be real careful about that. Take it down. As long as Jim's soaking, we're killing. We want to clear out the garage, and then we're going to want to use the Ares Warbot to help with the Thor, and then try to rush to the Brutalisk. So we've got a plasma round. I, I don't know how high these stack. Do they stack forever? I'm not sure. I don't want to waste... I don't want to, like, burn plasma rounds and then realize I could have held more. And I don't know what the stack limit is, if there is one. So, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be very conservative with my shot use. I think this area is safe. Yeah, if we can pull this medic out, that'd be nice. I don't think we're gonna be able to unless we can... Got her. What's the plan? I love these flashbangs. They're really helping out the damage on the infantry. What's up? Because the Marines are... They're low-key scary. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. That's two siege tanks. Hmm. Careful. See if we can pull one of them around this way? No. Well, this is fine. As long as we didn't die here, let's try to scope out the area and figure out what's going on. Make an informed decision based off of that. What I might be able to do is not shoot, just bring this guy over. We're not hitting him, which means that the aggro radius is smaller. That's how it works in StarCraft. It's really weird, but it is helpful every once in a while for pulling. Yeah, we just want to do it like this. 
And now that they're far enough away, that tank should not aggro. Oh, that guy did not take as much damage as I thought he would. Oh. You can count on oh. Me. Sell me. I thought Talk he would. Me. I thought he'd be my friend. And just. Raiders I think that his attack range is very similar to his sight sell range. Me. That might have been the problem there. <laughs> he just. He, he forgot. Time to man up. That is more infantry than I thought. Not from the direction that I thought. <laughs> I thought the guys over here would come. <laughs> sure, why not? So, how do we want to approach this next area? Because the Thor, how much damage does the Thor do? Let's do a little bit of napkin math in order to figure out if we can take the Thor with our infantry. It does 40 times 2, so that's 80 damage. Jim has 8, 16, 24. He could probably take 320, so 4 volleys from the, with the meta healing helping out. Break it down. That doesn't seem like enough time to take down a 400 HP Thor unless we use a Plasma Blast or two. But the Ares Warbot, I think, only lasts a short amount of time. So are we going to be able to get this and the Brutalisk? I'm unsure. But I think that using the Ares right now is the correct call. And just try to blitz through it. So we're going to get the anti-armored missile because that's going to make the fight go quicker. You can count on me. Talk to go, go. Won't last long. Okay, go. so the Ares has a 75 second timed life. Ares go What's first. No, no, no. Fight that, please. I appreciate it. And then, Jim, you're just going to walk this way and start taking this down. Uh, we need... Okay, come over here. So we can do all this quickly. Uh, let's get two elite marauders. I got their upgrade. Why not? And then Ares go forward. I'm not sure that I have the DPS. At least he's going to help in here, but I'm not sure how I am going to take down the Brutalisk without him. He's soaking a lot of snipes, apparently. I didn't... The snipe is weird. You can definitely snipe mechanical stuff in this. I wonder if we could, like, concussive kite the Brutalisk. I doubt it. Massive units immune? Massive units immune. So, let's do a little bit of napkin math once again. It's $10,000 per research, so the 6500 from Plasma Bolts, it's definitely worth using consumables to kill this. It is a net increase in money. Oh, I did not mean to energy restore right there. I should have saved that. We have a lot of these now. I don't think you can normally get your stat count that high. Can we hide back here? Where can we hide? Where should we take this fight? I wonder if there's a good place around here somewhere. Or if we just have to go like... Okay, I'm going to mass plasma shot. Keep all these guys over here. Um, I'm going to trigger the event with a medic because only one target at a time is going to be taking damage, and that is James Rayner himself. Just be very, very cautious. Let's give it a go. So plasma is G. I'm going to fire it twice, so we're going to GG this nerd. Whoa, whoa. Okay, um, looks like he does area damage. All right. He is, uh, he has a goo and he does area damage. That is new. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I fire three shots because if we get three Zerg research, three shots, that's, uh, was it $6,000 per plasma? So that would still be a pretty big net increase in cash. Oh gosh, that plasma does not do a whole lot of damage. Um, I had to burn a lot more than I thought. <laughs> uh, but nobody died. 
I still think we made money. Maybe. At least we didn't lose too much money. That's kind of embarrassing. I mean, he... That was a very buffed Brutalisk. He was definitely stronger than your average bear. Just try to keep the Hammerfist guards in the front. They actually have... Oh! I forgot that fire weapons reduce armor. Yeah, because the Cerberus does, so I assume that that's what was happening right there. The uh, Perdition has that effect as well. No, no, no. Oh, that anti-armor damage is brutal. Yeah, I should have sent Jim to tank that one. I was going to try to split the damage evenly. But I didn't think about that. Rather, I forgot that you can stim Marauders in the campaign. That is the true thing that I messed up right there, because you can't stim them when you have Marauders, and my Hammerfist guards are not stimmable because stim is not something I have. So I just kind of forgot. <laughs> And I don't think that's too unreasonable, right? Okay, that guy down, getting more plasma round. And we're gonna have to take the great running like a coward. We have a lot of power here. We just have to know how to use it properly. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Fortunately, we have both of the medics alive. I actually think that's the most important thing that's happening here. If we had lost one of the medics, we'd be in serious, serious trouble. So we're going to open this up. And then take these out. This is the area where the hybrid starts to come get us, and this is the area that I start to be a very, very fearful person. Okay, just fire over here. Yep, he's a quick guy. I'm not. I'm skedaddling, Matt. Yeah, he's a fast one in Nightmare. Did that activate it? Okay, we're fine. Yes. Let's move. Ah, oh, here's some money. I need the money. Oh, Warbot did not last long. I need the money. Ah! I can't. All my stuff. The double down of the slow in tandem with the uh, other slow. The goop combined with uh, concussive shells in an area is a little bit insane. Uh, here, Jonathan. Grab that. Thank you. We got one medic alive. There's a thing over here, right? Yeah, there is. Chrono. Jim, fire the sticky bomb. No, no. Okay, that's not good. Run, run. Keep Jim and a medic alive. Oh, the medic's gonna die. Concussive. Concussive. Try to fight these normal. I don't think we can. But if the hybrid takes them, the hybrid took them. We got more grenades! <laughs> we got our health back. <sighs> it's much scarier when I have. Listen, money is more important than the lives of my men. That's just how it works. Let's just keep moving through here. Nice. And careful, like. As long as you don't get too close, there's no problems. What's up? Sounds like breaking down. I like how the medic is just chain casting grenades onto these eggs. They're not gonna attack us. Oh, I have an idea. Where's that ultra? Okay. Fire here. Bring it over here. And then the hybrid should come out. And then the hybrid's going to attack the Ultra. Oh, nope. They're on the same team. That's not good. I'm not a fan of that. I the, I thought he was attacking the Zerg earlier. Ooh, that's not good. That's... Oh, gosh. The door's locked. Okay. So, wait. I could have sworn that he attacked some of the Zerg earlier on. Hmm. 
I must have been mistaken. Because he's not attacking the Zerg at the end. And I tried to make a decision based on that, but no. I guess I was, I guess I was wrong. That's my bad, I apologize. We'll try to do better this time. Grab this. Keep going. You try to go up here. You guys take this down. Jim fires on the thing. So just get multiple things going at once. We can get out of here more cleanly. More soldiers, more time to run. And then we can take these down without an issue. We have a lot more this time because I did that little triple split thing. And then we're not going to pull the ultra because I now know that that doesn't work. So we can be nice and informed about that. I was trying to be cute. I was trying to come up with a cool little plan to see if it worked. And, you know, you got to try that stuff every once in a while. Because if it does work, it's really cool. And honestly, what are video games for if not trying to be really cool? And then falling on your face and looking like a dunce. There's the Ultra. We can just blast through that. The goo is going to fall off. Hey, this guy in stasis actually blocked for a bit. That's really nice of him. I appreciate it. Okay, you guys start firing. You start dooring. Uh, run! Get him out too! No! Philip! Philip! We need F's in the chat for Philip. F's in the uh, YouTube comments for Philip. I, I can't believe that at the very last moment, our greatest and best friend was murdered by that guy, the guard. We we got eighty two thousand bonus credits. We got over two hundred thousand dollars here. Okay, Philip, thank you. You may have died, but you made your boss. Filthy, filthy rich. And if that's not what capitalism is about, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Thank you, my dude. Okay, let's head up the library. <laughs> let's head to the laboratory. <laughs> See if we can get some of the research points here. There we go. And now we have $400,000. Head to the cantina, get the rest of the mercenaries. Lots of folks ready to fight for the right price. Boom, boom. I thought I bought these. I really should have. And finally, we can buy a couple more abilities. Cluster bombs, not feeling it. Incinerator gauntlets, uh, not so sure. This one is very average. There's a lot of stuff over here. Battlecruiser is 1.5 times speed. When we played the mission, it said it was 1.3. Either way, I think that's very interesting. And it sounds hilarious. So let's go speedy BCs. And then Immortality Protocol. That's a pretty spicy ability. It seems very strong. And then these two units are basically the same as their normal counterpart, so I'm not super enthralled by them. Yeah, we'll go for that. So we have rebuilding Thors. We have really fast uh, battle cruisers, and I think this is a reasonable setup to take on Char. So tomorrow, we're gonna go do the other Haven mission that we skipped. Gotcha. I'll see you then. Peace. <laughs>